Hello and welcome to The Truth About Heart Disease. This is Dr. Dwight Lindell. I'm delighted to have you with us. Next is from Mrs. Williams. We believe your recommendations save my husband from the side effects of statins. He is active, has excellent blood pressure, but his cardiologist is concerned his cholesterol is 202. I began investigating and found you. He is now almost 70 and still doing well. Do you think he needs to take statins? Mrs. Williams, absolutely not. Once again, there is no evidence that anyone over 65 has ever benefited in any way from taking a statin medication. There is also no evidence that a cholesterol of 202 means anything. The amusing thing about this is we think we're doing some good by treating a cholesterol level, and really it's like saying we're putting out a fire by waving the smoke away. Mike P. writes in, I had a carotid artery surgery a while back, and I understand from my doctor that I must take statins for the remainder of my life. I did not see any direct mention of statin use and cholesterol in the book. If there is some reference to this, I would be very interested. Do you think I need statins because of the carotid artery surgery? The answer, Mike, is no. Although the makers of statins have tried to do studies demonstrating that they can arrest the growth or reduce the growth of the plaques in arteries, none have been successful. They have not succeeded in stopping the growth of plaque or reversing the growth of plaque. There was a couple of studies that were widely touted saying that they slowed the growth, but that was all very dubious and based on some very slim evidence in my opinion. Once again, Mike, there's not any evidence anywhere that taking a statin will change anything about your carotid artery. You're exposing yourselves to unnecessary side effects of statin medications without the hope of any benefit at all. That's all of our questions for today. I'm looking forward to our next session when we can answer those questions that your doctor won't. Good day. This is Dr. Dwight Lundell.